Many people know or have heard about the so-called grid shell. I have decided to use grid shell differently, and first of all, I abandoned the solid cover. Then I decided to build individual apartment houses into the surface of grid shell as if it were the surface of the earth. The spherical shape is just an example. Next, I will tell you about what real apartments are going to look like. Have a look at this wonderful dome in Canada, three-fourths of a full sphere. Its diameter is about 80 meters. I used a geodesic sphere and a dome of the similar diameter in my models, and additionally another type of grid shell, a single sheet hyperboloid of revolution. The scale of each model is 1 to 100. A grid shell of this size can easily accommodate 90 apartments. The diameter of each orb is 9 centimeters, which in reality is equal to 9 meters. These dimensions give 2 floors and 100 square meters of living space. The total living area of the building is 9,000 square meters for the dome and 12,000 square meters for the sphere. The size of living area seems incredible when you compare it with only the 20 to 30 square meters foundation area. Please note that a whole building fits under the dome in Canada. If the dome shell is used to house apartments, it would be more logical to arrange a park or a wonderful lake underneath it. Thanks to the mesh structure, permeable to light and rain, you can build a real garden city. Grid shell, as a building structure, has excellent load-bearing capacity and structural toughness. In the case of very devastating earthquakes, Raptures of the shell and significant deformations are possible, but without the formation of rubble that would be fatal to people. But how will people get to their apartments? How will they evacuate in case of danger? Let us again imagine that this is the surface of a small planet, which means we can build a transport network of paths on it. Paths can be laid on the outer or inner surface of grid shell and even built into the shell itself. And all that remains is to launch automatic cabins with independent drive along these paths and ideally equip each apartment with them. How to accomplish this technically is largely known dating back to the last century. There is even a classification of this type of transport within the framework of PRT. However, my technical solution, which I will not fully disclose yet, is ideal for using a transport system with the structure of a high-rise building and its immediate surroundings.